Hello everyone, welcome back to Stellaris as the Order of Spores. And, um, well, as you can see, our sectors have grown quite a bit compared to uh, the last time I've, uh, I've shown you what's been going on. And I want to talk about all of the things that happened. First, let's talk about the humans. As you can see, there is now a human sector. I have given the humans a second chance, mostly because we have some humans on Amanita Prime, for example, who are working their butts off. And I feel like, well... It needs to be appreciated. So, yeah, I, I decided we're going to give the humans another chance, and so far I have not been disappointed. Now, there is a growing faction, but it's not that powerful. Most humans are supporting uh, us at the moment, Holy so that's fine. If they if they try something again, we we're just going to have to enslave them, um, but I don't think it's going to happen. Um, we have established a colony, yeah, so we're colonizing at the moment. So we've actually um, given the Huntak a huge portion of our of our realm. We've we've have a huge Huntak um, sector right here, but I'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, first off, I want to obviously uh, quickly check out Earth because I was just talking about this. So let's have a quick look here. Um, and yeah, so there's a lot more humans, none of them are enslaved anymore, and they are much, much happier. I mean, the ones that were enslaved are not as happy, but the other ones are actually, actually quite fine. Now, um, we do have the robots here, so that is kind of the, I guess the price to pay. The, the price the humans had to pay, they are gonna have to split Earth with these robots. But I guess, you know, these robots are nice, so they don't really miss out on anything. Um, so that's pretty cool. I will try and remove these uh, tile blockers uh, one at a time, if I can. Although I'm not too sure if I can because this is a sector. Let's have a quick look at all of our uh, sectors that we have currently um, right here. So there's a faction, by the way. There are only four people in there just yet. And we have 101 uh, people in the Loyalist faction. So I don't think it's going to be all that, uh, you know, scary. Um, but yeah, so let's quick, uh, quickly check out our planet. So obviously we have our core worlds. Um, most of these, actually these two, these three actually, are Huntak worlds, which means they are ocean worlds. We're going to give them away uh, to other sectors as, well, as soon as I can. I'm thinking that Huntak Gamma, this is going to be part of the them uh, sector as soon as these guys um, actually become sentient. Because they will be able to colonize the uh, Arctic and basically the cold worlds for us, the Arctic worlds and the Tundra worlds, and we're gonna give them command of the sector, which actually I thought that would involve Huntak. Now Huntak is actually over here, so we might actually keep Huntak uh, Gamma, which by the way I just renamed um, all of these planets after their, um, I guess, the predominant race on that planet. So uh, there's a lot of Huntak planets because we were just colonizing a lot of. Uh, ocean worlds, but also obviously there is uh, the Vasaris and well the mushroom I guess I don't give them special names because this is obviously our main race So they just get regular names. Okay, you've finished your surface construction Which I think was just removing some tiles here. Yeah, uh, how about you clear this? There's still not too many people here. These guys are if I'm not mistaken slope. No, they're actually rapid breeders Hmm, so let's have a quick look at our demographics actually because Oh yeah, look at that. The mushrooms are only 29%, the human are 24, the Vasari are 13, and the Huntak are 29 as well. So the Huntak very soon will probably make up a bigger portion of our population than the mushrooms, but that's fine. They're, they have never risen up, and I don't think, actually let's quickly check this out, I don't think they even have a faction, because actually though, this is one Huntak, but it's one guy. And nobody really wants to join, so that's fine. I think they're not really, they're not really going to be uh, much of a problem. Now, um, but yeah, let's quickly uh, go back to Earth. I did, did I want to show something in Earth? I think I already did. No, that's fine. Okay, so this is basically all I want to show you. The humans, uh, I've also given them command of this one um, system right here, simply because I wanted to make them a little bit happy. Now, the Vasaris also have command or control over two uh, systems. And we might want to expand their sector, although the only way we can really expand the Vasari sector is into this direction, which obviously means war. Now, these guys right here, they're actually spiritualists, but um, we could sense the order's was These guys are very nice. They're peaceful System spiritualists, survey. and I think we're going to leave them alone for now. They, they kind of accept the fungi faith. They're, they're, obviously, they have their own as well, 
but I don't see them as a threat right now. However, there are two uh, new nations that we've that we've discovered that are actually quite a threat to our religion. Now these guys over here are all they're all pacifists. All of them. All of the new ones. They're either peaceful traders. Let's actually have a quick look at them. These guys are harmonious collective. These guys are uh, xenophobic isolationists, so they're, well, I guess they're not necessarily peaceful, but they at least won't really expand, and these guys are peaceful traders, so they're, they're not going to be declaring war on us or anything, and with all of these peaceful people, actually, I, rem I think these guys were also harmonious collective, yeah, so there's literally no one, I guess, to the south, if you can, if you can uh, say that, or, well, towards this general direction, that will attack us, so we can actually completely focus on the north. And um, this is actually also what we're going to have to focus on because these two, the uh, Quesibor Mandate as well as the Bokal Interplanetary Hegemony, these two are um, evangelizing zealots. So they are uh, spiritualists, but not of the Fungi complete. faith, and they actually, um, well, they've actually rivaled them. So they are very unfriendly. Unfortunately, they're actually superior to us. That is something we're going to have to change. And uh, these guys over here, they are also militarists and fanatic spiritualists. So just like we are, but they are luckily equivalent. So perhaps we can... Their fleet pals also superior. Damn it. Well, we're actually currently building up our fleet on Manta Prime. Uh, let me quickly show you that right here. So we have uh, now, I think, a... As level 5 spaceport. We're currently building a destroyer destroyer assembly yard. Once we have that, we're gonna just spam out this, um, actually no, not destroyers. I don't want to do that. I want it to be building corvettes. Oh, uh, that's, that's kind of annoying. Alright, fine. Um, yeah, I didn't want to build that. What we do want to build, and uh, that was a total waste of resources, but what we do want to do though, is uh, build some cruisers, because that's what we're allowed to do right now. So I'm gonna build two cruisers, two more destroyers, and our fleet uh, actually contains, obviously, two destroyers already. This one frigate we still have, 36 corvettes, complete. and three new Raider-class ships. And we can actually up also upgrade our ships, which I'm going to do right now. And I will show you kind of the design so you can see what we've changed. So our corvettes, they still have the uh, medium auto cannon. They're also equipped with a red laser. Similar because they kind of want to mix up, um, you know basically penetrate their armor if the enemies have any armor and if they have any shields I think the uh, kinetic stuff is just gonna um, plow right through I think now our destroyers are basically the same although I did add this small energy discharge I don't really know if it's that powerful but it seems actually it's probably not but I wanted to add it anyway simply because I wanted to try it out but I'm probably gonna have to put that away also, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I've added these regenerative hull tissues to all of our ships because we don't actually have shields yet. Once we have shields, I think I'm rather going to put these shields on, simply because they are much stronger. But at the moment, I think this is the best kind of armor that we can put on. Now, then this is the new class, the cruisers. And this is really cool because uh, the cruisers, obviously, I've given some red lasers, most mostly though our auto cannons, and they also have a hangar. So they actually produce these scout wings, which is cool. I haven't seen that, or I haven't shown you guys in this series yet, but I've seen that myself in, in one of my personal series. Uh, and this is really cool because those are like little, small little, um, I guess, screening ships that uh, fly out of this, this huge mothership and then attack. And this is really cool, and this is also very effective. They shoot lasers, if I'm not mistaken. I wish you could change that as well. Uh, maybe you can, I don't know, but I think the default ones just use red lasers, which is fine by me. Um, so yeah, this is really cool. This is our cruiser setup. We're going to build two cruisers. We're going to have this one frigate, and then we're going to build two more destroyers. So we have four destroyers in total, and we have a bunch of corvettes, and obviously these new raider ships as well. Now, the construction ship is actually done. Now, what I've been doing, actually, we have researched the um, terraforming equipment, uh, not equipment, technology. Uh, unfortunately, though, we need some more... Um, terraforming resources. We need liquids, as so there's liquids, terraforming liquids to make tr dry planets more, uh, I guess, well, more fluid? Does it make sense? Nah, well, I guess. Uh, actually, it says right here. It, it, was, it was saying somewhere right here. Anyways, and then obviously there's also terraforming gases, or gases, uh, not gases, gases, that will make um, very I guess fluid planets more dry, and uh, we only have these uh, one of these liquids actually in our in our 
uh, realm at the moment. So we need to be going for these terraforming things because I actually plan on terraforming uh, this tropical world with 24 tiles and this arid world with 24 tiles in order to kind of establish a core world. So we have uh, our uh, capital, um, and Manita Prime, then we have two really good planets here with 24 and 25 tiles, and then obviously we have uh, these two planets right here. Um, how many how many tiles do you have? Let me quickly check that out. You have 18, uh, no, you have 23, which is pretty good, it could be better, and you have only 20, which is rather weak, especially because you have this abandoned terraforming project here, which I didn't do, that was some alien race. Um, and this is actually how we've gotten the terraforming um, technology. So basically, there was a terraforming uh, project on this planet. Once we colonized it, we found out about it. And then we disassembled it, and uh, then we got the technology, which was kind of cool. But this actually hurts the food. Um, so this makes this will probably make these hunter grow a little bit slower, but that's fine. Actually, I'm going to move you here just so you can use all the food tiles possible. Um, just so you can grow a little bit faster. Yeah, this might actually be an issue. I hope this will go away at some point um, But we'll see. I mean, it's not too bad, but basically these five planets um, These these two this one and these two new ones System will then be our complete. core world And from then on obviously we have all the sectors around us, which I think is a pretty cool uh, thing to do um, But yeah, our science ship has actually finished in looking around so we should probably be checking out some more things. What have we not yet surveyed? Uh, this one is surveyed. This one's not. So let's go and ha go ahead and do that. Oh, actually. Oh, you're over here. Oh, damn, 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 damn. No, never mind. For some reason, for some reason, I was I was thinking that you were uh, somewhere else. Okay, so we've actually um, established a frontier outpost over here, which is great because that allows us. Well, this actually just connect all of our territory, which is amazing. Um, but yeah, so we have two construction ships that are currently not really doing much. So I guess I'm just going to put you into an orbit um, just so we can actually save some points. So you're going to go um, into the orbit and you, I guess, might as well into orbit. And the science ship, I want to do something with you, of course. So what? I think I've surveyed. Actually, we can actually build stuff here. Never mind. You, please build uh, research stations here. Great. Um, and your science ship, I want to... What can you discover? What can you discover still? Already surveyed? Already surveyed? Ah, okay, how about you survey this? Great. Um, so yeah, we're, we're slowly creeping our border all the way to this because we're going to have to go to war with them. Um, we need to build up our ships, as I said, we're going to do that with uh, mostly Manifold Prime because this is just our best spaceport. We're also probably going to have to build up our uh, trans, not transversely, but our troops as well. Um, okay, we've finished construction here. What was it again? I don't remember. Um, but yeah, due to this uh, society output, I have been completely focusing on these uh, bio labs here because they give so, they would give an extra society research. And uh, because we have this modifier here, this is really helping us out. This bumped up our society research quite a bit. If you remember, uh, this was actually lacking for quite a long time, and now it's our best uh, field of research, which, which is great. But yeah, we're also going to have to clear this just for, just so we have more people coming here. Um, this would be great. This is, so far, I, I think the planet that all civilizations like. Actually, well, the Huntak don't, but... Yeah, the humans, the Vasari, and the mushrooms. And also, interesting enough, there is one planet. Um, I think it was Hunter Delta. I'm not too sure. There's also, even though, despite the fact that this is a uh, ocean planet, no, it's it wasn't not this one. Um, it was a different one then. Um, despite the fact it being a uh, ocean planet, we have humans on there, and that I thought is yeah, this one. This is pretty fun. There are humans here, even though it's an ocean planet. Um, yeah. So. That, I guess that's something. I don't know. Uh, we have... Have we updated this yet? Yeah. Oh, you're, no, you're waiting for Spaceport to upgrade ships. Uh, interesting. Okay, so with these three Raider-class ships, I haven't actually had a look at them just yet. But they also have some shields, so this is pretty useful. Oh, yeah, look at that. They have much better... Um, much better shields, antimatter reactors, and this, this great X-ray laser. I haven't really been focusing on new technologies, uh, new war technologies that much, which I sh probably should have been. Um, but yeah, I think it fits also, it, it fits very well the warlike nature of uh, 
of our leader, which actually I'm not looking at at the moment, our leader, uh, Inquisitor Cletus C.B. Geotropa, um, it just it just fits that we're gonna gear up for war, and I feel like the the best uh, way to do this is to attack these these other zealots um, that that think their religion is the true one, where we, whereas we know our religion is is the correct one. So yeah, um, you are currently upgrading, that's very nice, you are all doing stuff, that's also quite lovely. Um, oh, by the way, we also have another research, I'm not sure if I told you this, but we have another research or observation post here. Um, and these, oh, I, I think I did tell you. And these guys are fungoid as well, and they have the arid preference. So whereas the Wen or Ven species will be colonizing the uh, cold places like the... Um, Arctic and Tundra worlds, these guys will uh, colonize the arid worlds and the desert worlds for us. And that pretty much covers everything except for the tropical ones. Uh, we don't have one for the tropical ones, but that's fine, you know, that's not too big of a deal. Alright, um, that was pretty much it. What else uh, did I forget to talk about? Um, I think that's all I had to talk Yeah, this is all I talked about, this is all I took note of. So yeah, let's see what else we can do uh, let's actually quickly see we are building some more ships we do have we do have a cruiser now okay we are building one more in a manager prime right is that correct um do i want to i do want to upgrade this but i want to give this a engineering research mm, okay let's quickly check something else actually these humans ah this is something i wanted to check out so these humans why are they giving a bonus Fanatic individualists are giving a bonus. Hmm, interesting. So if I was to switch out you guys, we would be... Ah, this would be a much better yield. Okay, so switch out these guys. Um, so humans are actually pretty good for um, these energy credit tiles. So maybe I'm going to put you on the most... Yeah, on the best energy credit tiles. Okay, there you go. Nice. Um, research station has been constructed. That's awesome. And let's have a quick look here. I'm just gonna have to rearrange my pops so that they work perfectly. Um, what are these guys actually good at? They're, um, actually they have the same ethics. They're militarist and fanatic spiritualist. I like that. Um, okay, you have a bonus here. But this is just because Empire and Mining Network. Okay. So humans are... Interestingly enough, this guy does not get a bonus for researching energy credits. This guy does. So this is a phonetic individualist, whereas this guy is n not. Huh. He's xenophile, so he's happier. That is very strange. Alright, you are a... You're an, an individualist, so I wonder if that gives you a bonus as well. Apparently, it does 10%. Okay, this is half the bonus. Hmm, interesting. I should have probably paid more attention to these kind of things. And since you are... Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter what you research. You are a... Xenophile as well. Okay, it doesn't matter. Hmm. Okay, I think we're gonna leave the things the way they are right now. That looks pretty good. Actually, you are a... Individualist. So you will have to go and... Uh, probably... Yeah, go over here. Give us some more energy credits. Yep. And because you do not give any bonuses. Right. Night. Uh, nice. So yeah, this is obviously something I need to uh, keep in mind or need to have a look at when, when doing these type of things, um, when, when managing my, my planets. Okay. Oh, wow. This has a lot of, of great uh, space for, uh, for mineral, actually for research. So we're probably going to... Wow, there's a lot of physics research here. I definitely need to be focused on that. I probably... I should probably start an edict here then, because that's just going to give us so much physics, uh, so much physics research. Actually, we're going to also clear this as well, um, because that's going to give food. And you, oh my god, yeah, definitely clear the food, um, because that's kind of important. We have so many resources too. Wait, you are clearing this though. You are. All right, how about more minerals as well? this and the rest is fine i don't really want to focus on this actually you know what no i will since we have the resources i might as well spend them all system survey complete. all right yes you have first uh, completed surveying the system very good um so let's go for a new one um we have what have we researched 
Oh, okay, we have not surveyed this yet. We have not surveyed this either. Uh, let's do this. This is a tropical... Uh, oh, no, this is a tundra and arid world. I see. Um, Alright, let's survey this, actually. Yeah. You know what? I want you to survey all of these systems. I'm just hoping that you're not going to get attacked on the way. We cannot do that? No, we can. Okay. Survey this as well. And this... Actually, we might have to go there first. And then you can go here. This has already been surveyed by... Okay. Alright, I guess we're going to go this route. Just set this up. Um, you're probably going to get stopped here. But we'll, we'll talk about that once that happens. Alright, what else is going on? Are we actually researching a special project at the moment? We're not. Okay. Conquest victory. There are still 17 other independent empires. We don't have that, yeah. Uh, we're not going really for a for victory, I think. We're just going to play. Oh, we'll see. I guess it depends. Uh, complete construction of a research station. Very good. So that means even more research. But that also means that this construction ship now has nothing to do. Which is bad. Oh, actually, you can build uh, some mining stations here. Let's do that. Now, also, due to the fact that we have uh, rivals, we have some some I guess new technologies that grant us uh, some more uh, influence we are getting tons of this so we can be building so many frontier outposts um, to to kind of uh, grab some some good planets actually we might want to do this right here um, you are still moving actually if I I could be building a frontier outpost over here just to secure that for our realm although I don't know. I mean, this. I think this b back here is pretty secure. In fact, I might actually want to go for a frontier outpost here, simply because there is actually this tropical world is shit. So we're not going to be. Yeah, there's not going to be much colonization. If we have a frontier outpost here, though, we will kind of get this under control, which I want. Actually, yeah, I'm going to send this guy right here to build a frontier outpost um, right here because uh, that's going to give. Establish our borders right here, which I think would look very nice. We would have this under control and maybe then we're gonna also establish a frontier outpost here just to kind of uh, get our borders correct. Okay, we've met another spacefaring civilization. Spiritual Seekers. Okay, um, they're not pacifist, but we're gonna praise the divine for this meeting as well. Um, where are they? Where are they? They're over here. Ah, huh, so there's actually quite a lot of these guys. Um, a lot of spiritualists. Okay, but we're gonna take out these zealots first. What about you guys? Who are you? You are Federation builders. That's pretty good. That's actually pretty good. So we might be able to sanguine axes. We might be able to ask them, invite them to our lines. Already in alliance. Oh, you are already in alliance with the Shantari Council. I see. Okay, you guys already have a Federation. And what about you guys? Um, Federation builders as well. You are not in a... Invite to alliance. We can invite him. He must be. Oh, they're not independent. Construction complete. Uh, member of the Sanguine Axis. Wait, are you? Has trade with the under and died. Uh, vassal under the Allied Han Moore Worlds. Allied Han Moore Worlds. Where are they? Um, I think I. I have not discovered them yet, have I? Actually, yeah, I don't think so. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh, are these... No, those are these two... Okay, so those are these two... Um, Research zealots. Evang uh, evangelist zealots that we're going to have to take out that have rivaled. These are spiritual seekers. They're in alliance with... Oh, they're in alliance with these guys, right. And they have these guys as vassals. Ah, uh, gotcha. Alright, let's get a new research. Uh, carrier operations. Oh, those are better fighters, I think. So let's have a quick look. But for now, ooh. Strikecraft attack speed. I like that. But you know what? I think we're going to have to... This makes our... I think this makes our ships faster. I think. We're going to have to go for this first. Um, also, we are researching the uplift technology. I'm not sure if I mentioned that before, which will allow us, hopefully, once we finish this. Actually, let's go through with this. Um, once we have this, I think this will allow us to actually uplift the uh, them, because they're pretty sentient, 
to a um, actual um, well member of our of our empire, and that's going to be really cool because then, as I said, they will be able to call nice plans for us. But uh, yeah, I think that pretty much covers everything that I've been doing. Oh, uh, what's this? Hold on. Quickly, hold on. Uh, the Pelix Cradion Foundation has declared war on an, an unidentified empire. And uh, this is too bad. This is too bad because I've actually not an identified this empire just yet, but I can already see the name. Uh, and also their government. That's kind of annoying. But yeah, not too bad. Anyways, guys, as I said, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this kind of highlight uh, style. And I'll come back next time, probably once we have uplifted the them, but we'll see. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.